A very good morning to you. How are you this lovely Monday morning? It's the 30th of February and we are all excited. Yes, it's a we because we're a team and you're about to meet the rest. But I'm sure you know who I am talking about. I hope you've had a great weekend. Uh, we are all set for you this week on why the morning because we have you know very interesting conversations that will keep you going so if in case your weekend was not as good well be prepared because you are about to have a great week ahead my name is stephanie ayeta and the hashtag we are using today is why in the morning at why to find for channel my personal handle is at stephanie ayeta it is that time to meet the team <laughs> let me start with the lovely <laughs> lovely val <laughs> Uh, no, I took a I mean, we there was no official memory. Let's take one blue. Uh. Tomorrow, tomorrow, please, the person who writes the memo, remember uh. to write. <laughs> so, how come on, Steph, who and the Kamapema? I think, I think last time we had a TikTok to do. I know. TikTok. I'm not letting what you know. What an go, assignment. What a job. Sikuwa hapa last time. Siku hapa, we are going to do it after to marry her some moves. Uh, 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 this one even got <laughs> awards <laughs> and accolades and he oh. kind of wanted to leave a sound. By the way. Sikuwa is those guys. That's funny. Yeah, I don't know how to dance. Oh. Oh. Kidogo. Kido, kido. Wait for him and step on floor. Uh. Until the music starts. <laughs> That's when you see the two left feet Ziki go through. Oh, yeah, he's nice. being modest. He's being yeah. modest. Go to his modest. TikTok page mm -hmm. and oh check out that dance. And then to a Mesakwa, your TikTok handle? Oh, let me guess. Uh, Brian Sakwa 101. 101. 101. Still. 101. Hey. Oh, yeah, across all platforms. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Brian yeah. Sakwa 101. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mkangali, and then you be the judge. <laughs> oh my goodness! But you know, dancing requires you to be a little bit like flexible, so you shouldn't be stiff. So I'm <laughs> practicing the moves. There's one. There's one that Explain I think us. we will one do one for Costa Teach. Uh -huh. I've seen it's a trend, and rest in peace. He he passed on. We are going to talk about that. Uh -huh. Exactly. So mm -hmm. we'll practice one of the songs. The moves are so many, <coughs> but stay for us idea. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> But before you why, do that, why do you <laughs> want to embarrass me in front of the people, <laughs> the nation? <laughs> I know that I didn't even see that coming. But Miss uh -huh. it's fine. Let uh -huh. me just accept the praise and yaiko, but yeah. You will help. <laughs> The All choreography. Right. Uh, <laughs> thank you so very much, Steph, for that, for that. My name is Valentine, or at mm -hmm. Kalami Valavi on everything. I had a very, very wonderful weekend, by the way. Very, very wonderful. I haven't... I Tell haven't, us about I, it. I, I just hung out with a couple of <coughs> my friends, and then mm -hmm. we, I got to make even more friends, oh. and then I got spoiled for no reason. Wow, man, that's a good the weekend. Kind of <laughs> that's, that's a, a choose good your weekend. friends wisely. Wisely. Yes. Mm -hmm. So yeah. by the time Sunday night was coming and things were happening, I was so at peace. I was, I was just okay. Like, like, good. Yeah. Your, your week is starting on a good note. Like, you're okay. You're okay. Hashtag is one morning. I want peace. I, uh, want peace. I choose <laughs> peace. I choose <laughs> peace. Peace is a method. <laughs> but yeah. it's good. Uh, my uh, two is fantastic. I think I was trying to read through uh, a book here, voiceovers, and, uh, I, and I thought to myself, like, it's been very long. It's been a long time since I did a voiceover. And uh, they're actually <laughs> talking about, you know, how you should always practice your voice, especially in the evenings before you go to bed and early in the mornings. And then uh, they were saying your voice is a tool that needs to be fed. So you need to, like, find selective foodstuffs that promote the growth of your voice. So I was like, wow, Kumba, there's been a lot I've been missing. Food. So, yes, there's, there's yeah. foodstuffs that you should eat. What to type ensure. of food? Thank you. Like, mostly fruits. Uh, uh -huh. If you're a more of a voiceover kind of a person, eat a lot of uh -huh. fruits and especially juicy fruits, fruits that have liquids. Mamba, like this? Exactly, oranges, but not mostly with sugars. So eat more of like, uh, they mentioned this fruit. Um, they mentioned which one? No, no, uh, what is it? Melon. Mm -hmm. They said ah. melons are good as well. Uh, mm -hmm. They mentioned uh, lemon. And there's like three more that I don't remember. They they have like some nutrients that gives your voice some crispiness. As a voice yeah, artist, wow. I'm shocked. Why don't I know <laughs> this? <laughs> <laughs> well, I've not been nurturing my voice. So surprised. I think it is a good lesson yeah. I learned. And uh, I yeah. try to like do some riff raps. You know, those, those the, 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 they give some sounds so you can practice as you grow your voice, you practice those sounds and your yeah. voice opens up even more. Make a okay. Sound, make a sound, I don't want to. <laughs> it will be an do ugly sound. It will be an ugly sound. Oh my goodness, it will be an ugly sound. No. It, 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 
it it was actually it was actually like they've given you like a paragraph but then the paragraph is written in a certain style so you have to breathe and say those words in that slanting style so it's it's a long paragraph i remember i remember in school right. um our lecturer was teaching us about voice mm -hmm. you know right. so when you speak of there's a style and you have to repeat it exactly for I, a very I, long I, time i can yeah. i can it was i can breathe effortlessly without you know yeah so you without control or something yeah i can i can breathe i, I can, can breathe, breathe effort, effort, effort you know wow. so you have to repeat that exactly so it was an exact thing yeah. exactly yeah, yeah, yeah a long yeah, paragraph lorry, yeah. yellow lorry no I think there was also a tongue twist on because uh -huh. they want you to like have balanced. Uh, they called they called it the fluidity of sound, so you have to like have like a balanced voice, so mm -hmm. that when you get to those hard words, especially when you're reading a commercial script, like you're able to flow in the mm -hmm. scripting. That's so exactly what Steph is saying. Okay, interesting. Well, what tips yeah. are you giving? I mean, me kind of magujo a voiceover. So oh my god, I am also <laughs> learning, taking notes. <laughs> Right. For you. Speaking of that, there's people I follow and their voiceovers, you're like, goodness, where did you get this voice? Can I just have it? Even just a quarter of it. Like, donate if... Like, just donate. The same thought at the same time. <laughs> donate uh, to me, just a little you bit, yes. you know? No. But you're like, okay, let me grow mine as well. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. But we're learning. We're getting there. Pole pole too. Val, what tip are you giving? Tip. Oh, yeah, okay. to. Uh, all I know is. But Val, yeah, you've done voiceovers. Because Val is going to add Val. Shh. You're shouting. Shh. 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 Mute. <laughs> the mobile subscriber is not around. He's shouting too loud. Val, <laughs> <laughs> back to you. Senior. Back to your studio. <laughs> My chest. <laughs> He's about to do the thing. The team. journalist has fainted on scene. <gasps> Please send ambulance. <gasps> Sent money. Hey, <laughs> okay, uh, uh -huh. what I can tell you off the top of my head is, again, certain foods, but I know the ones not to take. So you're not supposed to take very salty things or very sugary things. Okay. Yeah, when you're just about to do a voiceover. I, also, the, the practices, the sound, the, the really weird sounds. I, did, I don't know about that one, I can read the paragraph, mm -hmm. yeah. but there's specific sounds that you, you kind of make to open your... Your voice. Your voice. Yeah. yeah. Your voice. What is this thing about, um, you know, one time, in fact, I'm going to be quiet. Oh, dear. <laughs> so yeah. let me tell you, you right now. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> Leonardo, ah. All this, Steph, Nicola you're trying says, to be a singer? <laughs> so, no, the thing is that, of course, I'm watching him, but with our with the tummy uh -huh. so, stomach number one means of jungle i talk a half a so you know if it's the same for voice over it's, it's true to mm. in a talk at your quite tumble i've never gotten that concept it could be the best voice over artist in kenya right now <laughs> it's yeah. if i only knew how to get that voice from exactly. the stomach when you when you do it from here you get tired very fast no nezo mia yeah it breaks your sana. voice actually. So when you take it from your stomach, it comes out with more strength. So how do you take yeah. it from your stomach? Do you breathe in? So, yeah. when I, when Breathing you exercises now. Yeah. No, Remember do you hold your tummy inwards? So no, no, the, actually, yeah. when, I, when I do a voiceover, I, I like mm. wearing loose things. Cause I, I want to use all of my stomach. It's here to go for I'm out and 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 I'm <laughs> but you know, me, it's very okay. true. I, I think also in voiceovers, there's like head voice, there's stomach voice, and there's chest voice. Mm. So for men, they advise you to speak from the chest, but also combined with the stomach. Even for singing, there's stomach voice, there's chest voice, and there's head voice. Mm -hmm. So as, uh, especially those that have a lot of vibrato, it comes from the chest. It's mm. called vibrato. You're more of like a... I think Tony Braxton is dropping with the vocabulary. Mm. Exactly, it's called mm -hmm. vibrato. Exactly, so yeah, okay. You got it, Steph. <laughs> Stomach voice, chest voice, and head voice, especially if you're combining the two. Mm -hmm. uh, and okay. then also, they say best radio presenters have a combination of both, like mm -hmm. radio, uh, <laughs> stomach, mm -hmm. uh, chest, and head. Because mm -hmm. okay. your voice is like, a, it's like a, they, they compared it to an elevator. Mm -hmm. When you start, when you enter into an elevator, you either you're either going up, so you're combining the voice from your head, goes to the chest and then to the stomach. Mm -hmm. Or when you're singing, now you're projecting from the stomach, combining the chest and then mm -hmm. head oh. voice. Yep. I love okay. for people to is a very big advantage. Like working out really helps. So it means you don't lose your voice. The, uh, breath. Your breath. Breath. Very yeah. fast. Yeah. yeah. Breath okay, control. Interesting. Mm. I think I'll need to enroll for some voice. voice. But I think you use YouTube. 
you will save you will save your university. money yeah youtube university, <laughs> YouTube university. you will save your money okay so yeah. guys i yeah. have something very not into i i have some into a, what do you call it mind teasers uh -huh. brain teasers yes brain teasers for you um let me ask you before we get into what has been happening into the week what you think about it mm -hmm. so this is the thing <clears throat> i can't be bought you can also answer this uh watching from the other side of the screen i can't be bought but i can be stolen with a glance i am worthless to one but priceless to two what am i hmm. wait a minute i cannot me, be bought yeah let me take it again i can't be bought uh -huh. but i can be stolen with a glance so you can't be bought but it can be bought but it can be stolen with a glance i'm worthless to one but priceless to two. What am I? Hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm buying I'm them worthless breakfast worthless to today. one? At your worthless <laughs> <laughs> breakfast. Motivation. I'm going to your price. I'm going your price. Good breakfast. I'm going good breakfast. I'm going your price. At least it's going to some a token of cash. And cash next time. We need a, <laughs> you need a, I had a question for cash. Is it a uh, smile? Wow. Smile. No, but you're one. really close. Uh, really close. I'm trying to think. Um, mm -hmm. I'm worthless to one. But mm, that price is to two. Worthless to one, price is to two. <laughs> I love how you're thinking. Why do you think what do you think that is? Is? If I told you what I'm thinking, Val, you couldn't imagine. Sorry, Val is very close, like 80% almost there. In fact, 90 Okay. What did you say, Val? Your answer was? A smile. smile. Wow. So think in that direction. For me, I was like, uh, I was like, feeling like even, laughter, uh, heart. Uh, no, not laughter. Smile is closer than laughter. Heart. Uh. You're almost close. So think of heart and smile and what you know. <laughs> is that well, life? Say heart. <laughs> yes, heart. Coffee early. No, no, no. Uh, like heart, uh, the heart. Oh, the love, 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 love. Uh -huh. oh. Love. Eh? Is this love? Yes, you got it. <laughs> oh, so so, I'm gonna sing a sermon. Ha! Why was I get I breakfast. Not, <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Why was I, was I, I not it? just translating it into uh, like in sermon? Too hard, love. So Val has a breakfast today. <laughs> oh my goodness! Did but you make this idea, Val? You make this idea? Nah. We're not clues. Yeah, like me, don't make win, but I'm the winner. <laughs> okay. I was like, why not love, though? Oh. But it's all right. I have an answer to Sharon. Oh, my, yeah. I have an answer before you. Oh, so, yeah. okay. <laughs> but I have to say before. I have to say before. Okay. 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 Value 8 plus 8. Your, your 8 plus 8. And you want to help. 8 plus free. 8 equals to 16. It was, uh, but then how is it equal to 4? Yeah. Because you're adding 4 plus 4 to get 8. Don't, uh, this is a clue. Do not think in, in math. mathematical. Don't think in math. Uh, think oh outside the box. How ah. can 8 plus ah, 8, eight equals 4? Yeah, in what scenario in life can yeah. 8 plus 8 equals 4? Oh my goodness, time? oh my goodness. Let me think very fast. Is that me... time? Uh, you're close. <laughs> Life? <laughs> I'm getting it. You're like, close, but you need to give more details in eight, time. 8 plus 8 is 16, and in military time, 1,600 hours is 4. Sorry, come again? 8 plus 8 is 16. Uh -huh. 16 in military time, 1,600 hours is 4 p.m. Hey, Val, you're, you're good. <laughs> but no, 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 not yet. Oh, so close. <laughs> No, no. Not yet. In fact, you may need Changanisha. But your answer is 8 plus 8 is equal to 1600 hours, 1600 hours which is equal to 4 p.m. 4 p.m. Mm. Oh my goodness. You are so good. It's not the answer, but it's actually a good answer. 
<laughs> she's looking at you. You just created a new answer, which is cool. Sako, you. Me I'm stuck. I don't want to try. <laughs> Sharon <But> has anything? <laughs> <laughs> I want to try. Before I give up the answer. Ah, okay, going once. <laughs> going twice. Uh-huh. I'm getting the answer. Uh-huh, mm -hmm. uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. So, she's saying 8 a.m. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. If you add 8 hours to 8 a.m. Four. Four o'clock. Yeah, she's got it. It's the same thing. <laughs> she's got it. Uh, but it's the same. But sister, she's got the, the book book answer. Uh, so uh, 8 o'clock. Uh, 8 a.m. you add 8 hours, <laughs> then you get 4 o'clock. Yeah. All right. For me, I had so, said 4 plus 4 is 8. But 8 plus 8 is 16. So it means you're adding 4 plus 4 times 2 to get, you know. No, you don't get yeah. 4 still. That's why you're cooking your answer. It's not working. <laughs> Not working, but at least you I tried. Thought, I thought 8 plus 8 is equals to 16. Divide by 2 is equals to 8. Divide by 2, you get 4. Well, you're thinking in, in maths. maths. Yeah. <laughs> Too bad. My so, bad. So, all right. We move on from that. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So, what has been making news for you? What's, what has um, what has been your highlight in matters politics and uh, just current affairs that has been going on? Thank you for that. I think something that stood out for me uh, this particular week is the unemployment rate. There was a feature about Oasimgishu County. I think mm. they were running it yesterday. And how the so their specific agencies, the same kind of story last week about how mm. agencies are supposed to be sending job seekers out. And the countries yeah. that, that hi were highlighted, uh, Qatar, Kuna Saudi Arabia, mm -hmm. Kuna Riyadh. Okay, Saudi Arabia, Riyadh, same was up. But mm -hmm. these Middle Eastern countries. Think, yeah. And, and the, Kuna Pia Wenye Walikuwa Menda, Kusoma, Finland or something, and, and the scholarships were not working. So there's a lot of people trying to go out and, and make mm -hmm. a better life for themselves and, and the people at home. But it's not, it's not adding up. It's not adding it's up. It's really not. Really. And I think that's something I really want to touch on today on youth and politics. True. And that's what we're having uh, in not too long youth and politics. And I'd want to hear what you know your guest has to say about it, mm -hmm. yeah. because you know many people, because of the current situation in Kenya, um, the economy, you know people are suffering, so they opt to go outside mm -hmm. to look yeah. for greener pastures. But you you get people going, and then they never come back. You know, they die there. Mm. Some just, you don't even know what happened to them because mm. somehow the, you lost contact and you can't get there. You know, it's, it's so sad. But then they went with the agencies. So mm -hmm. what does the agency do? What is their role? What do they play? They're supposed to be um, looking out for the welfare of these people. If they're being harassed, then they need to bring them back or do something, take them to another job because mm -hmm. they took them there in the first place. So are we holding them accountable enough? Mm -hmm. yeah. Those are my thoughts, yeah. So we really need to have it. We need to have a laid out plan and, you know, make sure that the welfare of uh, our Kenyans that are going abroad to work there, that they're actually safe. Yeah, it's priority. Yeah. Because yeah, priority. It, th it was a highlight a couple of months ago mm -hmm. how domestic work, people who are coming from Kenya as mm -hmm. and go work as domestic workers are, are being either harassed in some manner or form or you'd find their passports are being taken so now you, you literally can't move around you mm -hmm. can't go back home and now here the same thing we're trying to urge them to go outside and look for greener pastures so is it just more of the same are we the definition of madness is is trying to do something in in, a, in the same way and expecting different, different results, results. Yeah. so is this literally madness now what's, what's yeah. happening and also with the cases of like mm -hmm. uh, somebody ali and akiwa live on a rudia cure in a casket mm. you know so how can you also cap that an interesting one? Well, yeah. from you, my side, <laughs> like well, I always say, mm -hmm. I live for Mr. Rigabi Gashagua in my head, your best friend, uh, our dear, <laughs> <laughs> our dear beloved Deputy President. So um, I love the fact that yesterday in the joint uh, media briefing yesterday that they had uh, with all the stations, uh, he was very vocal about his stand on whether you know he's going to take it positively especially for mm -hmm. those outlets that you know take uh, his speeches or his statements out of context and um, i remember in one of the replies he gave to the journalist he said if mm -hmm. media is not going to publish exactly what he says 
is going to come for you. Just as uh, the media has a right to you know, criticize and publish information about politicians, he also, as the deputy president, has a right to criticize mm -hmm. and give his opinion. And I remember him quoting a newspaper that he said that newspaper is biased. He also talked about, initially he had spoken of uh, exposing uh, the control of budget. Uh, you remember last mm -hmm. week we said he's going mm -hmm. to give names and finally he gave oh, names. Mm -hmm. Receipts were flying left, right and center, what's up. I remember former, um, he's a former digital strategist for uh, the former government, but still now uh, for President uh, Ruto. This mm -hmm. should be Dennis Itumbi, right? He posted uh, the WhatsApp, uh, screen, was it a screenshot of that information, the discussion about how the 15 billion was transferred in 26 minutes, and uh, the deputy president spoke about it yesterday. Mm -hmm. Also, one outstanding thing also was uh, about the Azimio um, ultimatum mm -hmm. to go on um, March to mass action. House. Exactly. Yeah. Uh -huh. They're saying they're going to do it uh, without fear or doubt. And uh, just in case, you know, the current uh, system is not going to lower the cost of living, they're going to do it. Uh, they're going to go hard on it. And come 20th next week, we'll be definitely marching to State House to ensure that, you know, the current government drops down the cost of living. Also, it was also interesting mm -hmm. to see um, his response when it comes to matters, the handshake. He said they're not going to have a handshake. Uh, in as much as the other side is crying foul, they want, you know, um, uh, the, 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 the argument was, why is it they're not recognizing the current president and yet they want, you know, positions as you know, cabinets or CSs in his current, you know, government. And then he also clarified um, the statement he said about, you know, the current government being a company. He said they'll only give first-hand opportunities to mm -hmm. politicians or cabinet secretaries, including many others as well, mm -hmm. who falsely supported the president, who believed in his manifesto that mm -hmm. includes the bottom-up approach and many other things. So he said the first people that will get first-hand opportunity are those that believed in him. And then he gave the reason why he can't, they can't give opportunities to those that criticize him, negatively saying they will sabotage him, which I feel he has a point, though. But these are matters politics. You don't put them in the heart. You put them in the stomach. You put them in your eyes. <laughs> lungs, you cry. Lungs. And you breathe Long, it, exactly. Yeah. So you, you exhale. Out and <laughs> you disappear. <laughs> so that was okay. uh, the most outstanding thing for me. And I really can't wait to see how it will go. Mm -hmm. you, yeah. you can't wait to see what will, how, the mass action or... How the mass action will go, how? how the rest of the media houses are going to perform, especially that newspaper that he called he out, mentioned. that he mentioned <laughs> that it was assisting former controller, former uh, CBK or former controller of budget, CS mm -hmm. uh, uh, Ukuri Atani. Mm -hmm. Yes, he mentioned that this, the, the, the newspaper was trying to assist to cover up for his mess. So I'm like, wow, you know, there's so many things that happen in Gavendui. First of all, we had no idea that that was happening. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it was really interesting to see the deputy spilling the tea, mm -hmm. you know, of what happens behind the scenes. And I wow. live for that political juice. Mm -hmm. We'll be here to report. <laughs> I like how you say it. <laughs> you know. Yes, we'll be here to report. So keep watching. <laughs> yes, most definitely. We'll right. be giving you all the juice. So we don't have juice only in, in entertainment, uh -huh. but also in politics and everything in between. So for me, <clears throat> my highlight or what uh, I'm looking to forward to see is uh, the action by the CS Interior. He said mm -hmm. he gave, uh, you know, uh, is it an ultimatum, right? Yeah, an ultimatum or directive, yeah. A directive, yeah, for 27 families in 27 areas in the north rift to vacate by uh, latest today mm -hmm. so that he can take his action mm -hmm. against the bandits that are there. So he wants to do away once and for all with the banditry attacks and everything there. So what do you think? Do you think it's a good move? Uh, do you think this will be possible for families uh, from these 27 areas to move out by the end of today? Right. And, uh, you know, will the bandits move with them? Will they <laughs> stay there? Hey, no. How... You know what are you making out of out of this because i'm thinking it's it's still quite not clear mm -hmm. if they're moving then where are they moving to i'm not sure if i'm not, i'm missing some details but if they're yeah. moving where they're moving to and uh how will they know that the bandits are not moving together with them so will the bandits stay there and wait to be attacked because <laughs> <laughs> no. as in it's not really uh, it doesn't yeah. make a lot of sense for me but unless there's a plan that um, i yeah. don't know about or maybe there's something that the ba bandits uh that's keeping the bandits there and they can't move mm -hmm. right 
So I, I don't know, what do you the make of it? The formula was, uh, mm -hmm. they're going to, they're, they're, I remember the CS in his address said, they're mm -hmm. going to first of all have the women exit. Mm -hmm. So they're saying if you're a woman and you're in that region, firstly you have to exit and leave the men there. So if the men are part of the bandits, then too bad for them. No, they're asking the whole families to, to, to move, to whether you're first, a, yeah. a man or a woman, because they say if you are found there, then you're treated as either an accomplice a or yeah, yeah. criminal. Uh, can oh can I answer a question with a question? Because I also noted that he, he said something about spiritual leaders. I don't know if that was spiritual leaders for the bandits or, or something. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I'm, I'm, also <laughs> quite, also I'm also quite confused. There's, there seems to be a lot going on over there. And, yeah. and yeah. if mm -hmm. they, they do have like people what Wadini Wao, who are advising yeah. them how on how to, you know, conduct banditry or whatever it is that... It's like some doing. form of al-Shabaab type? Yes, That's but, what you now mean, you yes but now with, with support. It's like, yeah. it's literally structured. It's not chaotic. It's not, at the ah, so we go do like that, right. then we come. It's a structure, it's a system. And yeah. how has it gotten so organized? Right. And yeah. then also is who is sponsoring these yes. banditry attacks? Yes. And, and, and why are they just escalating? Like, uh, there's a region where the CS was like today, mm -hmm. the following day, like 10 more people have been attacked. And uh, the question is, is it, is it like a mock attack to the security structure? And then there was also a meme that went viral uh, that was actually trying to play around with the CS's voice saying that mm -hmm. how is Mio side hears his voice. I was like, really? This guy is really equipped for this thing. It's mm -hmm. not about his voice, but uh, even the deputy president yesterday clarified that a lot of people demeaned him yeah. because of his voice and maybe his body size. But uh, I remember the, president, uh, the deputy president clarifying saying that he's an astute and a resolute man who is actually you know, performing well, especially, mm -hmm. uh, I remember there was also a poll that was issued about the best performing CSS, and I think uh, CS Kendiki is among the top five mm -hmm. who have performed well, uh, especially the new mm -hmm. cabinet. Uh, and I don't know why people, you know, it's the case of judging a book by but its cover, uh, exactly. you know. You know <laughs> we, we, we didn't uh, even give him a chance. Kenyans, Kenyans yeah. who are, we, yeah. But why is it with the voice, though? But, but I, I, I feel there's a point there, because, you know, uh, they expected the interior series to be more of Matiangi with a more... But uh, look at where Matiangi is know, right now. The voice <laughs> and uh, the... But I, I think it's more of what you can do, what you can bring to the table, than, like you said, uh, yeah. well, you know, it's, it's not more of that. It's more of, like, what can you do? Let's, let's give you a chance to mm -hmm. perform. Can yeah. you deliver? Right. True. If you can't, yeah. But so far, so good. I think he's he has done a lot. It's not easy in that ministry. Yeah, it's not easy. And I think with mm. the criticism and you know the um, bullying, it's more yeah, because that's it, bullying. It is. Really and shout out to Francis Gashuri it's who joined him, him as his uh, public uh, strategist or digital strategist. Did you see that coming? Good. I never saw that coming. I swear to God, uh -huh. I never saw <laughs> it. One I minute he was reporting. Yeah. I know. Yeah. One minute he was one of us, and then suddenly, who? Shout out to him. You know, yeah. top no. job. But he's been doing a good job. Sometimes you see people and, you know, there's the effort that they put in. You know, when you watch the analysis that they used to do as a team, right. you, would, you know, you would hear the knowledge that he has. And then you'd know that this is someone that should, uh, that can be really resourceful in in such a ministry. In such a ministry right. because right. They're, they they are so knowledgeable over the years. They've learned the ministry. They have learned different areas in the government. So he comes as an asset to even serve the people more mm -hmm. as yeah. uh, he goes there. And of course, more money. Pocket. Right. Have to do that. <laughs> That's some good money right there. Ah, Shout out money. to you, Francis. Ah, you know, a bit of it, uh, hard work pays. Yeah. Literally. It, it has also reminded yeah. me that yeah. uh, I think CS Ababu Namwamba has been questioned mm -hmm. on the criteria mm -hmm. he used to select Kina Aziad and the rest of the media personalities, including content creators, mm -hmm. the Kina Karo Radul and the Kina Chachin Dambuki. So he's being grilled for it. Like, they want him to give out a clear structure. Mm -hmm. How did you select Aziad? <laughs> <laughs> but that's, uh, can be How did you select Ketak Tres? Uh -huh. Do they have a portfolio uh -huh. that fits at uh, that docket? And I'm like, yes, fantastic, if you have, they have if it. If you ask me, yes, I it, would it's agree. It's an entertainment docket. Why, Why not? Yeah. Give I would agree it. because no. it's, a, yeah, it's an entertainment docket. deals with the youth, so the people yeah. there are the youth. Maybe Churchill might not be as youth as youth as you know, youth youth, but he's still he has he's a youth at heart. He owns a franchise that gives the youth opportunities a to yeah, yeah exactly. The Churchill show and whatever. he's an icon yeah. in Kenya. You know exactly. he's built people. When you talk about Kate Akras, 
she has represented Kenya in international platforms. Exactly. You know, she's doing yeah. great, inspiring young people. So why not? Uh, as yet, I know she has received a lot of backlash from people online because of her type of content creation, but she's done well for herself. Mm -hmm. She has yeah. grown. She's gone to radio. She's got a certificate for herself. You know, exactly. she's someone who can come to a she table has a and reason. <laughs> you know, it's not just about... Um, she has the following. Mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, the talent the and numbers. everything. It's just about influence alone. I think that, that it's enough sure to give you, them on you know, the, sport. Gives them a seat on the table. Yeah. Just yeah. influence alone. Before right. now, we go back and say, yes, this one has gone to school, this one has done this. Because, mm -hmm. right. hey, who doesn't know as yet? Ooh. I was but interviewing someone from Uganda, Kenya Girl Guide, on Wednesday for International Women's Day, and she knew who was here. It was. Imagine. Wow. Uh, I, I, I like, mm. You don't even know us, good. but you know us. <laughs> <laughs> you Are you kidding? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but the question was the type of content <laughs> she does. You know, I, I think people are looking more of like a more a, mo a moral perspective because you know Asia just dances. She uses her bo her body, her tool of trade. So she comes on TikTok. She throw some moves left, right, and center, and they Why go viral. Why is that a moral issue? So they'll be like, uh, we don't want our kids to be in school. And then they say they want to go and dance and show their bodies like this. But if know. it makes them money, why? no. We're living in a different generation. When I was growing up, they told me mm -hmm. to make sure I study hard. And then when I study hard, I finish school, graduate, so I can get a good job, work my age to five, smart, right, nice, and then get a salary. If Aziad can make money off one video, Something that, I, that I'm struggling shoulders, to make for know. a whole entire year. What yeah. is the problem? And she's not compromising herself in any way or form or manner. You haven't yeah. heard the church appraising and saying, right. ah, yeah. to a funny TV too. So yeah. why? Why not? Why? But as a parent, you know, I'm looking at it from a parent's perspective, especially those that come from reserved religious communities. You play any of Azit's video, she's shaking her bust, she's shaking her, her behinds off. And when you look at it from like a religious panoramic, you know, filter, you be like, I don't want my daughter to come and shake her bust in front of if the cameras and claim it it's a job. If morally, she was right? able differently, right. would we have a problem? In fact, we would be cheering her on. I feel like it's more of a mindset and a moral issue, but. Uh, mm -hmm. It's We're her favor and her grace. We, uh, we, we, we are like about to come and say, uh, <laughs> May I like Azir? I wish she comes on our show very soon. Very soon, soon. <laughs> we, but then we tried. We tried to contact her. The manager said, Nope. She has more numbers than That's the station. That's why you're banning. Like, Boom. <laughs> very much. <laughs> I'm like, Okay, so. Yeah, but we'll meet you. We'll have to have her, sure. Yeah, yeah that, would be, that would be awesome. So yeah. now let me take you to something totally different. Mm -hmm. um, there's this story that I've read in today's newspaper, and I think we just it, it just gets me annoyed anytime I hear it or anytime I see it in the society. Um, so the headline was, How Paying for a Miracle Drove Me Into Debt. Mm -hmm. So this is a lady living in a shanty house in Kib she in Kibra. She paid for a miracle and yeah. went into debt. Yeah, it and went to debt. Yani... Well, this is <laughs> just the way it started. <laughs> just the way I'm starting. Yani, you, we, th there are a lot of fake pastors out here. That's how you know a fake pastor. Someone who asks you for money to give you a miracle. To pray for you. To pray for you. So that you. a miracle Yeah, happens. not even a miracle. Just to pray for you. Oh and they ask goodness. for money. That is a fake pastor. Let me tell you today. Because people, and especially people that are not as educated, they fall for this because everything is not working. Uh, so God will send a miracle and this pastor knows God. So let me give him money. I get my miracle. It's like a, a trade-off. And what we don't understand or what they don't understand is that, you know, you can't pay God for a miracle. It's like, ni nalipa mungu sasa ni patia miracle. Yeah, how much God, is that? Is, no. that uh, is it healing? So mm. how much for that? 10,000? Fine, let me pay you. ten. It's not, we don't give God, uh, we don't pay for, for these things. Duh. But to attend that dangan you have, with all the little knowledge you have, tambi wa lipa ipesa and go and do one, two, three things that are not even there, and then wait for that miracle. And then ikikosa kukuja, mm. they always have an excuse. These fake pastors that I'm talking about, but hambia oh, it's like um you didn't pray enough, wow. like oh I. 
I activated, but do you need so you okay? Try activate it again. So bring a sheep <laughs> this time. Oh, <laughs> you know, as it, it, you know, Send another thirty thousand. Send another thirty thousand, mm. and that's how you get people going into debt. Since I'm too at a kopesha, I'm too in jakula kwako, too a endi shule. Lakini utano kopesha for this miracle, so that upate school fees. But why? Oh my goodness! Let me guess. It was a lady. It was. It was a lady. I, oh they, my goodness. I think I feel like people take advantage. Sana sana ukisikia these these fake vitu za dini. They take advantage of of women and children because they they the vulnerable. Yes, very vulnerable. Very very vulnerable. Mwanaume atakuangalia tu. Ata umesema nikutumia that a thousand. No, acha nikatafute. Ni hasu kidogo. It's it's disgusting that someone would make money off mm. of someone's pain. Yeah, right. and the thing is that when they do that, and they paint a bad picture to actual Christians, to actual Christians, so yeah. like Christians, eh, they just pay for money to get, you know, they are lazy Christians. Okay, they are lazy Christians. No, these are lazy Christians. So you, you pay to get a miracle and you do nothing. You're not right. even supposed to pay in the first instance. If a pastor is to pray for you, they pray for you. If you want to bless them, say my thank yeah. you. Yeah. It is fine. From your own. But see, yeah. mutu, mimi, eh, you only red flag. Why just red flag? Sorry. Uh, do this so you can get this run. Right. If run for that church, you are in the wrong place. If that is your church, you're in the wrong place. By the way, yeah. that is just you need the easiest step, the easiest test mm -hmm. to know if you're in the right place or not. Right. And um, yeah, you you know you get even mature people who have gone to school being manipulated because right. this guy is a prophet. So and I'm not speaking any. See now, buy against mm. men of God. Uh, I really respect them, but that I'm speaking against the fake ones. So, because this person can prophesy, you know, and anyone can prophesy. Mm. So, no. you really need to know where the prophecy is coming from in the first place. So, someone may tell you, oh. Uh, five years ago, you were in this place, you were in that place. So you're like, ah, this person is a prophet. But mm. the devil also has his own prophets. There's, yeah. there's some, I don't know, Phil can preach. But there's some key highlights. Preach, you know, sister. Preach, sister. There's no story. 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 So there's, yeah. there are key highlights to know uh -huh. men of God that this person is truly from God by the way they speak and they will have to speak the word of God for you to know that this is a, really a prophet and right. there are prophets who come uh -huh. and um, and they really make you feel very bad still a rebuking kuna ile rebuking ya nini 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 but mwingine atafanya feel scared oh you're going to die tomorrow so you need to you know not not like that but mtu anakambia oh something was about to happen to you but we'll pray about it and god yeah. will do that is a prophet of god that's how you know so val twende kwako tukimalizia history to funga to get this discussion to say for example let, let's let's make it practical so for example mm -hmm. i i be calling sakwa let's say ama sakwa calls me we're friends mm -hmm. and you you don't really know who steph is but we are friends by association so you just hear about steph so Steph maybe has come over to my place because now let's say when I'm video sipo, now on a scare to South here Steph Kombali. So we're friends, me and Steph are friends, then you're calling me for whatever it is, maybe it could be work or some whatever. Okay, yeah. Ah, yeah. So once a kushikanisha because you're very fast and, and smart in the head, they say, Hmm, that's Nani's voice. Okay, so akwapo. So ka akwapo and ashinangapo kwanini. Maybe and it's been like three days, maybe you've called me consecutively. <laughs> or uh, so you've you've realized maybe I'm a kuja kwango because she has a problem. Yeah. So now why why the kujita prophet um pigie semu from nowhere. <laughs> I have seen that you have a problem. <laughs> I, I yeah. feel I have been told as uh, and this is a true story, guys. That's a true, true story. Oh, okay. is some, to me, some, my friend now is telling me the, oh, exactly how it happened. So now that person I'm telling you is, is prophesying. It's now the prophet. <laughs> from nowhere. I and can't I'm feel it. You have a oh problem. There's goodness. something going on in your life. It's going to be okay. Kumbe, you're being scammed. We gotta, got to be careful. Uh, so now, uh, yeah. I'm going to all tie with Meisha. And um, <laughs> this is a discussion that I tired. I wish Sakwa had something to say, but next time. Okay, so, sure. um, 
What should you expect in politics, Val? And uh, Sakwa, you'll close it up for us. Okay. Uh, I really want to touch on the, the mm. state of unemployment, especially for the youth. There's the very alarming numbers to the tune of 10.1 million people who are unemployed, 2.5 million who are actively looking for employment. Mm -hmm. the, the amount of brain drain, because as people leaving the country to look for better pastors, yeah, so that's one of the things we'll be touching on, on youth in politics. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. In entertainment, we are entertainment on MCM. <laughs> <laughs> on MCM, we're going to take a look at uh, why are some careers not being taken seriously. Like, as a, let's say from a parent's perspective, let's say you have a son or a daughter or daughter. If you have a daughter, <laughs> and you and your daughter <laughs> keeps on saying, "I go, I want to be, I want to be a dancer. I want to be like Anzi and Mom." Would you take her seriously? By the way. What are some of those careers that are, are, are not considered to be so amazingly fantastic, but yet they're paying, they have money. All you need to do is get a formula and how to attack it, and you'll be popping out here. You'll be people's role model like Asia is. I don't know why I mentioned Asia. Mm, Who yeah, else? You'll so, tell yeah, us. <laughs> basically that's the, the formation, the basis of our conversation. What are some careers that are not being taken seriously, and yet they have so, so much cash. You can make a lot of money out of it. That's the basis of our conversation. So uh, stick around for that on our MCM segment, okay? Throughout the tail end of Why in the Morning. You don't want to miss that. All right. We take that short break right now.